Bud Light, the official beer of NFL fans who do whatever it takes. Here we go. What you want to look for this week when the Rams play the Patriots is what I refer to as the Belichick-Brady triangular effect. By that I mean, basically the Patriot team is full of what I call role players, and then there are three in a triangle, three key guys who are their difference makers. That is Wes Welker at the slot, Gronkowski at the tight end, and Hernandez used somewhere as a hybrid. Obviously, Welker, great slot, great inside option runner. Gronkowski, classic tight end with speed to run second levels, corners. And your classic hybrid or wild card in Hernandez, a guy that's part wide out, part tight end, and in this case, part running back. Again, what they're trying to do with the triangular effect is they're trying to get matchups on people, ideal matchups for them on these three fine football players on average to below average inside matchups. Now the play I've drawn up is a classic example of using these three guys in concert in which they all can be primary receivers. If you were in the New England huddle, the play would sound like this, blue 81, meaning three wide receiver personnel with 81 as a running back. A slot left near, Z close, meaning the Z will be close in the A slot. The play will be scat right, meaning that we're going to free release using scat protection. That means you have to throw hot. You're not maximum protection. 869, 869 route, slot drive, which is a slot drive to Welker, with a U wheel. Instead of an H, this is a U. If this was Woodhead, this would be H wheel. So if Hernandez doesn't play, they would have this play with Woodhead. Now, if you analyze the play, what you have is you have a tight or near spot here with Lloyd, and Lloyd is going to run the post. Now, the reason he gets in here tight is to create kind of a confusion, to create bodies in here so that if a linebacker is one-on-one -on -one with Hernandez, he can get a natural rub. Otherwise, he's going to clear the post. Hernandez is going to run the wheel. Again, Welker on the drive and Gronkowski on the deep dig. Now, the way the Patriots are going to read this is they're going to look at the corner safety linebacker to this side. The first priority is to throw the wheel to get the big play. If the corner retreats and the safety goes to the middle, they know they have a one-on-one -on -one with this linebacker. So chances are they're going to throw the ball up on a fade, or if the linebacker gets high, a back shoulder fade. That's where the versatility of a guy like Hernandez is, is critical. Let's say that they don't play it that late. Let's say that the secondary rolls to this side, so they effectively take away the wheel route. Immediately, Brady is now going to focus on Welker. Welker has a drive or runaway route here. If he's manned from the outside and he doesn't have help, the ball's going to Welker. If someone brackets Welker in here, we go to the third option, which is Grankowski, because you can't, you can't double all of them. Somebody is eventually going to be singled. So if you double or bracket Welker, then you're going to allow Gronkowski to come up and run the 15-yard dig, of which he then becomes the third guy in the priority. So, again, you're using a triangular effect to maximize your three best players on their matchups underneath, starting with a wheel route first, drive route to Welker second, dig route to Gronkowski third. You may not see this play in exactly this method, but you will see variations on Sunday against the Patriots.